everybody hear me? Yeah. All right, we're going to quickly uh, go over a couple of the items that are keeping us from getting an agreement right now with the employers group. And we're going to ask for a strike authorization vote from you guys tonight. Um, the, the number one issue is job security. They are proposing language that would allow them to lay off at any time. Um, they're proposing reductions in headcount right now uh, that would amount to up to 22% layoffs at some of the companies. Okay, so right there alone, there's no way that we're going to agree to that, that language. They have also proposed takeaways in the health care benefits, retiree health care pre-funding, which is a, a big one that we fought for last time around, reductions in the number of holidays, sick days, and the list goes on and on. So that's where we are with it. It's clear that they've drawn a line in the sand and, and we're doing the same. We're not going to accept this. We've made this very clear to them. We've told them already that we have the full support of our membership. And uh, that's very evident by you guys showing up here today. Good job. What we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and um, take proposed uh, a lot of takeaways, health care benefits they want to reduce. They want to take away the pre-funding for the retiree health care, reductions in sick days, holidays, a 22% reduction in, in head count. So, like I said, we're not going to agree to that, um, and we're going to have to take it to the docks. That's that's the only thing we that's the only choice we have at this point. So, we plan on working tonight, putting together a comprehensive proposal that's going to address all the outstanding issues. Propose that to the employer tomorrow in an attempt to reach an agreement. Absent of any agreement, we're going to be prepared to take economic action on the docks tomorrow night. So. There, there, are, there is an extension in place that's being disputed by the employers for five of the companies only. They have not agreed to that, and I think they may want to reconsider their position. It's, it's APM Terminals, uh, OOCL, Evergreen, Zim, and LBCT. Yes. Okay. Are there any questions? Any? Anything. What about Anyone? their not wanting to, they're wanting to extend the CRA? How did, what is all that information? Well, that, that's that the no layoff. Uh, not filling the vacancies on the first day or, you know, they just want to they do it whenever they the want to do it. or at all. Just never, yeah. They're still in need of the CRA. Are we fighting to go back the way it was where the job, if there's somebody, a body's out, a body needs to the, be there. The language that we've proposed would require them to fill the vacancy on the first day. Any other questions? Okay, I'm just going to ask right now that only only members who are employed at a signatory company vote when I ask for a, a authorization to strike. Okay, only those employed by a signatory company. Can you guys hear that back there? Yeah. Yeah. Only those employed by a signatory company should vote. Okay. Can I ask a quick question? Yes. Okay. Um, so we work till tomorrow. The contract ends tomorrow. At midnight. And then we just go you'll, in Thursday. You'll be notified. Or we get a call if, or whatever. Yeah. You'll be notified as to what you need to do. Well, plan on going to work and hear until you hear otherwise, right? I'll yes. take my sign to see. Okay. okay, all those in favor of authorizing the strike, signify by saying aye. Aye! All those opposed? Great job. Congratulations.